Let me show you how to create a professional video intro for your YouTube channel completely for free. And we're going to do it all in less than 10 minutes. Okay, we're gonna use Canva.com to do this and we're gonna use the free option. I'll point out some paid upgrades that Canva does have and you may wanna take advantage of those, but for this video, I'm just gonna use all the free options. Once you're on Canva, you just wanna find the video over here and click on video and that's gonna create a blank canvas for you. So in order to create a YouTube video intro, all you have to do is go to the design tab over here and under templates, just type in YouTube intro. And since we're already in a video mode, it's gonna give us some video templates that we could go ahead and browse. And it's really, really nice. What you could do is just hover over each one and you could see a quick preview. Now, any of them that have a little crown option, those are gonna require that paid pro subscription. But it's worth it because you only have to do this one time and this is a monthly subscription. So if you do find one that you really like and it's the pro, you will have to upgrade. Right now, I'm gonna use one of the free ones over here. And to refine your search, they have a couple of different options. One is you could click this right here, this filter tab. And if you have a specific color you like or your channel theme, for example, let's say all my videos have kind of a blue theme to it. My thumbnails have a blue theme. I could go ahead and click on blue and it's gonna refine the search and you could see all the channel intros now are blue and kind of purple theme. Another way you could do it is, let me go ahead and remove this one over here. You could also type in more text over here. So YouTube video relating to tech, I could go ahead and see what these tech videos look like. Okay, now this is a lot more of the type of videos that I make, so I may wanna pick something from this list over here. Okay, let's say I like this one right here. All I have to do is click on it and it's gonna go ahead and apply it here to my canvas and I could go ahead and start editing it from here. You could do this from scratch, but I recommend starting with templates because it makes it a lot easier because someone professionally designed these and it's a lot harder to do this from scratch, but you could move all of this around. So let me show you some editing options. Now, if you come down here, this is 10 seconds long. It's far too long for a typical YouTube intro. Now, something to pay attention to, you typically lose a vast majority of people. Sometimes 30, 40% of people leave in the first 30 seconds. So you don't wanna give them a reason to leave by having a super long intro. So I'm gonna actually cut this down. I recommend somewhere between three to five seconds. In this case, I'm gonna just have a four second intro. If you did want a longer intro for some reason, you could actually press this add a page and it's gonna actually create another scene for you. So you could go from this shot to another shot or you could always right click over here and duplicate this page too. So now this is gonna be eight seconds and then these are now independently editable. In this case, I only want the one page. So let me go ahead and delete that one. So with this page selected on top over here, you could go ahead and make some edits, right? So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna type in my channel name front and center. This is good branding right here. And I'll click away. So this is gonna be your channel name. You could move this around if you want, but right now it's right in the center. On top right here, this is not a gaming channel. So any gaming elements I could go ahead and delete. I'll bring in some elements. You could bring in other elements. You could search for them. And right here is basically the benefit of your channel or what you offer. So. I usually make tech tutorials, I simplify tech, so tech simplified, that's gonna go down here. Okay, let me go ahead and do a quick preview to see what that looks like. Okay, not bad. Now, let me go ahead and add some new elements to really make this stand out. So if I go to the elements tab right over here, again, I could search for different types of elements. Again, I'm gonna search for tech since this is a tech channel. I'm gonna look for graphics over here. It's gonna have all kinds of interesting looking graphics. And let's say I really like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and I'm gonna drop it over here. And with all these elements, you could fully resize them. So I'm gonna go ahead and resize them. And I'm gonna make sure this is behind the text. If it's not, you could always right click on anything and you could go ahead and move it back. So it says bring forward, bring to the front, bring to the back. So this is actually in the right spot. If it was all the way to the front, it's gonna cover the text here. So I do wanna go ahead and move it back. So step backwards. With any elements, right now it's not moving. So I need to click on elements that I'm adding and I need to come up here and I need to click on animate over here. And if I hover over anything, you could see the little animation that it adds. Okay, so I could see, okay, this one's cool. Little blur. Okay, so I could go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and up here and reduce the opacity because right now it's a little prominent. I want it to be more of a background piece. There we go, now it's a background piece. So you could add any elements like that. Come up to the animate tab once you select it and make sure you add some kind of an 
animation here because that will turn it into video. Otherwise, it still works inside of this, but it's not gonna have that motion to it. Another thing I recommend is if you choose your background, you could come up here and you could change the color of your background too. So if you want it to be a different color, you could go ahead and make it a different color. And you could also choose from gradient options too. So this is another way if you really wanna design your own background. In this case, I'm just gonna go backwards to what I had before. I don't like these plain backgrounds. This was much more interesting. And let me go back to elements and let me see if I could have a YouTube subscribe icon too. I'll search for that. Let's see what they have over here. See all graphics. Some of these again are going to be paid. Let me see if I find a free one. And it looks like a lot of the good ones are actually with the pro version. I'll just click on this one right now. I'll go ahead and resize it. And I'm just gonna kind of put it over here, maybe up here. And this one, I'm gonna reduce the opacity. So it's kind of like a background option. And let's go ahead and animate this one too to kind of jump in there like that. Okay, pretty cool. Now you could always press this preview option. This is gonna show you how long your video is, your intro. This is four seconds for a YouTube intro and it's pretty good. What it's missing though is music. Right now this is not gonna have any background music. So you could go to the audio tab down here. There's a whole audio tab. And with the audio tab, what you could do up here is search for intro right here. And it's gonna give you a bunch of options. Some of these are only like six seconds or four seconds. Give it a little quick listen. Okay, that's pretty good. I could always filter too. So if I just want something that has instrumental or vocals, I could narrow it down this way. And this one's free. So I'm just gonna grab it, drop it right here in the music track. And this one is about four seconds here anyway. So this kind of fits my video, so I'll give it a quick preview. You could always search for logo as sense too. And these are usually shorter, three seconds, but a lot of these, as you can see, are requiring me to pay for the paid option. So for music, this is another reason why you may wanna to upgrade to Canva Pro, but I have a link to the Pro and the free version of Canva in the description below this video. Let's say I like this one right now, I'm not gonna spend too much time finding music, but usually, Spend five, 10 minutes, try to find the perfect little logo sting here to go with your video. And if you're happy with what you've designed here, just go up here and press share. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and wanna download this. So if I press the download option, I do want an MP4 video. They do have other options, but for video, this is exactly the only option that makes sense. The quality is gonna be 1080p. If you wanted to upgrade to a higher quality like 4K, some of these do come in 4K, you do have to upgrade for that. But right now, everything's been free, so I'm gonna go ahead and download this to my computer. This may take just a minute or so, and they do have another paid upgrade that sometimes is worth it, which is resized with this magic switch option. This is an AI tool that lets you change this to other platforms intro too. So if you wanted this for your Instagram or if you make YouTube shorts and you want the same kind of intro, this resizes it for you over here. And if I go to my download folder, here's my nice logo intro here. And this one I just kept to four seconds, but I'll probably come over here under the design tab and look for some other similar designs here. Some of these are really cool. So again, I could just click on it. I'll just try this as a new page, see if I can make some changes to this one. This one comes with a subscribe button already, which is kind of nice. And if you wanna make really high-end thumbnails, I also have a video showing you exactly how to do that in Canva as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.